Welcome back guys, General Tony here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. Today we are trying something pretty damn crazy. We have got ourselves a brand new farming strategy guys that we're going to be testing out live here inside of the episode. I'm going to be the guinea pig and we're going to see if this works or if it is complete mayhem. Now it's a crazy strategy, you probably have never seen it before guys. So let me show you it in a few seconds time. Let's just boost our heroes, our spell factories, and all the other cool stuff. And we are going to get ourselves into some live attacks. And we're going to attempt to create a brand new farming strategy, guys. Now, there are several reasons why I have decided to try this. First off, it uses the brand new bat spell, which is absolutely amazing. It also uses my favorite troop, the Electro Dragon, guys. And it combines a crazy combination of troops and spells. So we got two Rage Spells, seven Bat Spells, they are only level two, so please keep that in mind. Two Baby Dragons, two Electro Dragons, and a crazy horde of minions. This is legit one of the craziest strategies we've ever tried, guys. Now, what I want you to do if you've made it this far into the episode and you are a subscriber to the channel, let me know what farming strategy you use down below in that comment section. Now, just before we get ourselves into the live attack, check this out. If we go into the Quick Train... Take a look at the actual statistics of the army, guys. It is army number two in the middle, and it is only 184,000 gold. Sorry, elixir. And it's only 2,140 dark elixir. Now, compare this to the Electro Dragon army below. It is literally 60%, maybe even 65% cheaper for elixir. And compare it to the army above. It's still 50% cheaper for Elixir and well over 60% cheaper for Dark Elixir, guys. So in terms of farming, efficiency, saving loot, this is literally one of the most amazing strategies. The question is, is it going to work? Well, let's find out, guys. So let's make sure the Grand Warden is set to air. We are currently farming around the Titans 1 League, guys. To be honest, we're a little bit high in trophies. I wouldn't mind dropping maybe one or 200 more trophies which we might do after the episode. But for now, my friends, we're going to see if we can get ourselves into a live attack. We're going to see if we can find some massive loot raids. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. Leave a like if you are loving the content and you're excited for Christmas Day. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple of moments. Also, here we go. We have landed on a Town Hall 12 base, guys, and we are going to give this our first shot. So this is attempt number one to farm using this crazy strategy, guys. So what I want to do... I am going to attempt to, let's see if we can create a funnel over on this side with the king and the queen, and then we'll try and get the other troops into the center, guys. So what I want to do, I am going to drop in the war record there. We're going to use the king up towards the top and the queen just behind to take out those structures, guys. Now, what I want to do, you want to basically send in nearly every single one of the minions, the electro dragons, and the bat spells in a massive, massive rush to do as much damage as possible in as little time as possible. So we're going to pop the King's ability before he gets wiped out by that single target Inferno, guys, which is about to happen anyway. But it's cool. We took out the Defending Queen, guys, which is great. My Queen is creating a funnel over on the right-hand side. She's going to get distracted by these little Larrys, which kind of sucks, guys. But uh, hopefully she can still take out a few more buildings. Here we go. And as that is going on, I am going to use one Baby Dragon here. And we're going to pop the Queen's ability. So there it goes, guys. Okay, so we are up to 20% total damage so far. Baby Dragon is taking out a couple of buildings, guys. And the Queen is officially down. So now it's going to get into the interesting part. What I'm going to do, we're going to use the two Electro Dragons. One on this pump. One on that Collector. We're going to drop in and spam 100 minions just behind, guys. And then we're going to go in with the Bat Spells as well. We're going to use the Rage Spells somewhere towards the center of the base. Now, before we send in the troops, we want to test for air bombs. So, I'm just going to sprinkle, not many, just a couple of minions. We're going to sacrifice maybe four or five minions around the base, guys, just to test for any air mines and air bombs. And it looks like we haven't found any. So now, let's proceed with the main heart of the army, guys. Here we go. Okay, so the minions are going to get sprinkled in just behind. Now, remember, we haven't actually tried this yet, guys. So this is our first attempt. We're going to use the bat spells just ahead. Double rage. And we are going to save the Grand Warden's ability for the final few seconds as we start to tear our way 
towards the core of the base, guys. So there goes the Grand Warden's ability. Is this going to work? Let's find out. Here we go. The Electro Dragons raging into the center. There goes an Air Mine. And it looks like we've got the one star, guys. So we secured the 57%. The question is, can we take out the center? It looks like it didn't go to plan for the first attempt. But you know what? We're going to try it again, except this time we're going to make a few changes, guys. We're going to send the heroes in last, or we're going to send them in with the actual main army, guys. So we're going to see if we can somehow manage to make this strategy work. Now, in terms of actually farming, we still made loads of money because it only cost... Uh, it cost less than 200,000 elixir, guys. So take a look. It's actually been successful because we made quarter of a million gold. The elixir we got from the farming covered all the elixir the dark elixir way way more than covered the dark elixir guys and we got ourselves a 90 percent bonus so we still made hundreds and hundreds of thousands of gold elixir and we made a couple of thousand dark elixir as well but this time we're gonna try it different so before we do this i am going to let me just fix my base guys it's a little bit dirty i apologize didn't know anyone was coming over guys but there we go we fixed our base so we got three builders free and I don't think we can actually do any upgrades, so we're just going to leave the builders. So, what I want to do, I am going to send the heroes in with the heart of the army. And we're going to use the baby dragons at the start with a couple of minions to try and funnel either side. So, let's give this a second chance. And let's see if we're able to redeem ourselves, guys. So, here we go. We're going to find ourselves a second live attack. If it fails this time, then we probably won't give it another go, guys, because... um. That's a good indication, two attempts, that it really isn't a great farming strategy. But we're going to see if we can at least two-star a Town Hall 12 and get somewhere in the region of 70% overall damage, guys. Remember, the most important thing is to save the Grand Warden's ability for the minions and the bats when they're under rage, going towards the center of the base, guys. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a couple of moments once again. Let's see what we can find. So check it out, we have landed on target number two, another half a million elixir, guys. If we manage to get a two-star on this dude and steal most of the elixir, plus we get a large bonus, we will walk away with like four times the amount of loot it costs to make the actual army, guys. So what I want to do, we are going to save the heroes this time, and I'm going to start, as I promised, by using a baby dragon to funnel up towards the top, guys. And we're also going to use the second one on the bomb tower, guys. So the two baby dragons have been sacrificed and they have created the funnel we requested so now we are going to use a couple of minions just four see if we can take down this dark barret guys it should drop these are max level here we go there it is and we're up to seven percent total damage okay so now we're going to use some minions here just to take out those structures guys the eagle artillery is towards the south of the base guys and we're going to come in from this angle here so it's going to take a lot to push all the way to the Eagle Artillery, but we're going to give it our best shot. We're going to see what happens, and we're going to hope for the best, guys. So, what I want to do just before we start this raid, a couple more minions, maybe just one more minion, to take out that Spell Factory, guys, and then we can proceed with the main attack. Let's just drip some of these minions here as well, some extra buildings down the bottom. May as well take them out, guys. Easy percent. And we'll grab that. And we will grab that. That. And I think that's about it. Yeah, let's just take that last elixir pump. Okay, so this should secure us at least somewhere in the region of, you know, 65 to 70% if we do this correctly, guys. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got one minute and 20 odd seconds on the clock. Let's do this. There goes the battle, re uh, sorry, the, uh, the wall wrecker. There goes the electro dragons. And we're going to drop in the Grand Warden. We're going to two-spam these minions, guys. We're not going to drop them all in just yet. And I am going to use the bat spells. Let's do this. There goes one rage. There goes a second rage. There goes a Grand Warden and the King's ability. Can we take out this Inferno Tower? That is, of course, the most important part, guys. We've done it. And we've made our way into the center. However, the Giga Tesla has, of course, activated. And uh, we got two Electro Dragons surrounding it, but they're not taking it out for some reason, guys. Finally, the Electro Dragons have turned on what appears to be the Giga Tesla, which is, of course, destroying them. But um, they didn't manage to take it out. Now, obviously, they were extremely distracted by everything else that was going on, guys. And unfortunately, we didn't manage to grab the second star once again. So obviously, minions 
are extremely low in hit points, guys, and so are the best spells. So maybe combining them together without using a free spell on the Giga Tesla is a poor choice. So I would say my conclusion on this, guys, we're going to try one more time. Don't give up on me just yet. We're going to try something crazy. Check this out. Same strategy, except we are going to remove two bat spells. And we're going to bring two free spells, guys. This is going to be the final attempt at doing this attack. We've got to do it. I know we can do it, guys. I believe in ourselves. So let's gem the heroes. There's the queen. There's the king. There is the grand warden. And let's get ourselves into one final attempt, guys. We reduced the bat spells by two. We increased it by two free spells. We're going to take this base on. We're going to see if it works. Stay tuned. So we passed a couple of Town Hall level 12s, guys, and we didn't really find any loot, and we've landed on this Town Hall level 11. Now, I know it's only Town Hall 11. It doesn't have the Giga Tesla, guys, and it also has single target Inferno Towers. But obviously, all of these spells, guys, including the, uh, the Electro Dragon, the best spell, they're all available at Town Hall level 11. So maybe this strategy doesn't work for Town Hall 12, but could it work? for a town hall 11 well let's find out guys i'm gonna use maybe not we're gonna use another baby dragon to take out that side and create the funnel we want and over here we are gonna use just a couple of minions guys to take out these buildings so we use 10 minions hopefully gonna be taking out these structures let's see if we can do it here we go yes we did awesome so very similar to what we've done before heroes are gonna go in Everything is going to drop in together, guys. The Grand Warden is going to be set to air. Let's rock and roll and see what is about to happen. So, here we go. Grand Warden's in. Let's spam in these minions, guys. We got four fingers down. Best spell's going to go as well. Free spell's going to go down. Double rage. And I'm going to drop a free spell. There goes the King's ability. And I'm going to use the Grand Warden's ability nice and early, guys, to try and save as many of these minions and the rest of the troops as possible. So have we got bats still up and alive? I'm not really too sure, guys, but we got a crazy amount of minions still over on the right-hand side. There haven't really been any uh, air bombs, but unfortunately that tornado spell grouped them all together, and it looks like they're getting roasted. The single target Inferno Tower's gone down. We've secured ourselves a two-star, guys. Question is, can this Electro Dragon pull it off for us over on the left-hand side as well? Here we go, it's gonna just about take out that Archer Tower, which is awesome. We put the Queen's ability. She's going to take out some of the buildings in the center, guys. But once again, it doesn't really look like this strategy works that well, guys. So we tried it. We gave it our best shot. We tried a crazy troop combo. Obviously, you're still making a lot of, a lot of loot. But um, I'm guessing there's a lot better strategies out there, guys. To be honest, though, it only cost 200,000 Elixir. And we were making about, you know, six, 700,000 every raid including the bonus guys and uh, that's not bad that's honestly not too bad so my friends we are going to end this episode here make sure you drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it to end the episode let's click and upgrade another one of those level 13 walls guys i'll see you shortly in a couple of hours time for another video have a great day peace out